Welcome back guys, we're going to go ahead and show you how we rig for bottom fishing with steel jigs. Where you've, we've got kind of an assortment of things, you can't really see too much, but we've got some assist hooks, we've got some live bait hooks, we've got a nice little snap ring set, and we bought that, as you guessed it, Amazon. The jungle website <laughs> comes through every time. That's right. We've got an assortment of steel different colors that we like to use. That we'll one. talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we like striped, we like different colors, multicolors in each jig. Some of these already have assist hooks on them, some of them don't. We'll be adding and showing you how we do it. So we'll go ahead and get right in on how to rig steel jigs. For bottom fishing we've got a what is this 50 pound line yes 50 pound any leader will work whatever any leader any brand that you like i do a uni to uni to not as we've said in previous videos we really like the uni uni it's just simple go look up a how-to video on how to do a uni to uni knot there's a ton of them there is there's one guy that does it i don't know the channel it's got big giant yellow line with a black background mm-hmm You'll get it quick. Yeah. While he's tying that, I go a little bit into colors. Um, for green water, like that we have in our area in the 30 to 60 foot zone. Um, but I like a jig for that for that depth. Um, usually the the minnows and other um, other bait supply that's in there is usually about that length. You know, in in the winter time, usually they're silver sides, aka glass minnows. A lot of them are. But there are some small sardines and cigar minnows, uh, cigar minnows, a.k.a. hardheads. And um, anyway, green and blue and pink, I mean, use those in blue water too, of course. We're using for trolling for dolphin in the Keys and Wahoo and stuff like that. But it works well on the bottom too, especially in green water. Um, we fish mostly green water where we, where we fish. So this has got, this jig has a blend. You can see it's kind of iridescent in a way, but it. It's blue outlined with green. Then on the back side, we got the refractory side. And it has blue foil stripes against white. So that thing's, when it's down there doing its thing, um, they, they about can't miss it. And um, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's hard to beat this jig right here. You can find them anywhere this color. Just look online and you'll find them. Yeah, and that's one side, that's the other. That's just one, okay. There's the... Um, Where's my pinky? Yeah, I'm gonna leave this one in the package, but that's a pink with like a bluish gray outline on it. We're gonna change these. You can see behind there, the hooks are really tiny. Um, the stuff we catch, will that won't work. So um, we'll change those and show you show you what we use. And a lot of times we just split ring on a hook. It's a, it's a you know four inch live bait hook, or sometimes we use the stringed you know, jig hooks for vertical jigging. Um, we'll show you it. We also like these for jigs as well. Yeah, this is a 16. <laughs> <laughs> this is a this is a 16 aught uh, grouper um, glass grouper hook. So we use we, we use see it's it's it'll fit. You see? <laughs> Why is that up here? Yeah, I don't know. All, All right. right. So we'll go ahead and we'll work with this. This green and blue favorite. Love it. And it's got the stripes on the other side. And I love that holographic eye on those too. Yeah, on those it is. Yeah, I love yeah. that. that I love that blue right foil there. right there. It's just unbelievable, man, mm -hmm. how good they work. So we'll use our <clears throat> jungle site bought split ring set. <laughs> it works good too. And 
And Richie, why don't you go tell them which, which size you like and why? Well, I'm going to match it to the jig. And, and it's hard to see all this stuff. This stuff's so small. Um, I know you, you, you can't see this stuff. So you're going to get a variety of split rings in this set, which you can't see any of. <laughs> but these are like microscopic. I can't even see them. I don't see think I there's can... any in that one. But you gotta, you got to match them up to the jig. And, and how far you want the hook to fall. If, you got, if you're not using a stringed vertical assist jig hook, um, you, have to, you have to match these split rings to how you want the hook to act, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. So we're going to use a medium sized one. And by matching, he means by the size of the jig and everything. Because the bigger, the bigger jigs, we're going to use the bigger split rings. The bigger rings. split rings, that's right. Because so, yes. you, don't, you don't want the hook to get caught in a bind, because fish mm -hmm. strike normally from the head. So we want it to hang beside the, beside the head of the jig. So we'll show you that in a minute. So a small split ring, if it's too small, it'll grab the hook mm -hmm. and the hook will hang to the side. It won't fall flat, um, which is why they put strings on those things. So they'll hang flat and then uh, run that's, with the jig. Yeah, and that's another thing. With the, the hook that you're putting on the jig is also going to determine the size right. of the split ring. So you probably because, a big, probably yeah, because this split ring right here, so it's very tiny. Yeah, it's tiny compared that's, to the size of that. That's a 4X strong 5 volt live bait hook. And what's going to happen is that little split ring is going to get caught inside there and it's going to just sit to the side. It's not yep. going to it's not going to fall beside the jig and lay on it like we need it to. So that's not going to go on there very easy either. And when you're putting these split rings on, you really don't want to be fumbling with small split rings that are too small for your hook. So, yeah. So you order that big pack of snap snap rings for one size, basically. I mean, yeah. unless you're trout fishing or something. So this is the split ring pliers. It's got that little tooth on it. And that's to go ahead and open the split. The old grabber tooth. So we go ahead and open her up. And look, we know most of y'all know, know how to do this. Just yeah. we're just showing it, you know. It's, Anybody that doesn't know, real easy to use split ring pliers. Yes, it is. And it's real hard to do it without them. Yes. It's be uh, fumbling with it half a day. Daggum near impossible. Especially for adding stuff to jig steel, whatever. Yeah, out there in three foot rolling around. You're trying to get that on there with yeah. a pair of pliers. It's tough. Mm -hmm. A little bit harder than your, than your key ring set to slide a key on yeah, it. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I don't know that what millimeter or what number or what ought they call that split ring, but it's the largest one in the snap ring pack. And it's because of the size of the jig, the size of the wire eye on the top of the jig near the eye and the head, the wire that's actually, you know, made to tie to, and um, also, again, like you said, the size of the hook. Now, you're going to see what he's done here with the, with the large split ring. So that large split ring... See yeah. how that hook uh -huh, it just, turned to the side, Josh? It just lays. It's laying flat against that, on that. Against, against that head. I can keep hitting the split ring with it. There but you go. It's laying flat. Whereas if, hold it right there, Josh. Whereas if you'd used a smaller one, smaller split ring, that hook would be sitting off to the side like that hung. Mm -hmm. Hung up on the split ring. But this one, there you go. It falls flat. So that's that's what you want because that if it's if it's cocked out like that, then you, when your fish goes to strike it, it's going for this head. It's not going for above the head, so it can miss it a lot of the time. You just want that thing to lay flat, just so it minimizes the misses. That's right. So, hence why the assist ring hooks or the the uh, the assist hooks yeah. on the string. They, that's why they make them. That's right. Make them lay. These are just a little too long. Hook yeah, size those is are two inch. Yeah, that's a good hook size, but yeah. those are two inch. But the string is too long, so we mm -hmm. just wanted to show you what you do in case you don't, you know, you can't find these or the, you're in the situation that we're in right now. These are too long. You just split ring on a live bait hook, and now the right size. Yeah, you're set up. Yeah, so. and I'm telling you, that hook right there won't be in. So you, you want to get, I mean, you can get away with a 3X strong hook, but yeah. you might as well get some Gamakatsu 4X strong live bait hooks. That's right. And 5 alt. Might as well just do that and be done with it. 
Yeah, and these split rings are stainless steel. They don't. Yeah, and that size he used, I mean, like I said, there's no sizes listed on, this is the Jungle website stuff that it is. So, um, the large ones that we use here, I, I'm going I'm to tell you right now that they're probably, they're around a quarter inch, they're around a quarter inch, you know, circumference. Yeah. Is what size they are. Maybe close to three eighths. So yeah. They're it's pretty smaller, large. Smaller than a number two pencil. Just a little bit. That's yeah, that's yeah. about right. Yeah. yeah. Just a yeah, just a scooch. Yep. So we've got the line to line connection, because obviously you don't want to go straight braid to your steel. We've got the my mentor leader. will be saying, why are y'all not putting a treble hook on the back of that? <laughs> he didn't miss a fish, man. He, he liked those stingers. Oh, yeah. Greg would be like, Ariel, you could you could put a treble hook on that and you never lose one. Huh. Imagine that. Yeah. We have one with a treble hook. Sorry, Smith. We're not, <laughs> we're not, we're not going to do it this time. Yep. But, yeah. Deadly, deadly, deadly. If we do start missing them out there on the boat, though, we, we might just go we ahead might, and add Yeah, one on we've there. done that before if we keep yep. missing them. So, we'll go ahead and tie this on to the rig you always want to tie to the head yes you don't want to do to that split ring because that's gonna that's gonna put it out to the side don't cause it a bind yep when your knot moves around on that split ring you don't that's, want to tie to the split ring some people will some yeah. people say oh you got to tie the split ring tie it to the jig yep the jig wire that's why it's in there and there's 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 a debate out there whether there you whether whether you tie to the you know the, the head or the split, the split ring, ring. there's also another debate out there uh, if you tie a tight knot to your wherever you want to tie to on the jig, or if you tie like a, a, a hanging hang knot, a hanging hang loop knot, yeah. or something loop like knot. that, yeah, loop yeah. knot, yeah, and uh, it, it's all on personal preference. It is. I mean, you can you can do it either way. Um, we've had fish strike on both, so it's whatever you want to do. I I like the hanging loop knot. I think it gives it a little more uh, flash and uh, better movement. But other people like going straight to it. it. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. But definitely don't go to the split ring. And in, in, in our opinion, you, you can if you want. You do what you want. Yeah. But we're going to the jig. Yep. Um, I don't need the action I'm, that I'm producing with my rod tip. I don't need that to be going through my hook. I want it directly. I want to be directly in contact with my jig. The fish gets on, got them. But I don't need the, the action directed off the split ring into the hook. I just want the action I'm making with my rod tip on my jig therefore tying directly to the jig itself mm -hmm. and that's the reason behind that and that's my opinion and, um, and you can look up whatever knot to go clench knot yeah you hanging loop whatever, knot whatever yeah whatever what, live bait hanging now knot, we'll tell you what, if you make your if you make your hanging loop not too big the hook's gonna get caught in it yep so that's one thing you got to watch out for so you don't want very much so mm -hmm. he's done it perfect right there he's got about an eighth of an inch of a hanging loop there, maybe a quarter inch. You can see the knot right there. And more than likely, if it was any bigger, if it was half an inch or so, the hook would end up, you know, while it's in action down underneath yeah. the water, it would end up spinning around and the, the hook would get caught in that loop. You would never understand how that happens. No, but it'll do it. But it'll do and it. And by the way, it probably won't come untangled somehow. No. And it'll, you, it'll and, be just a big fuss. And you will miss whatever you're fish. Gonna, you're gonna, yep, it's yep. gonna cause you to lose a fish. Yep, so that right there, is ready to drop in up to 70 foot of water right there. So he went, he went, what what size did we put on here? That's a 50, 50, 50 braid to yeah, 50 liter to 50, 50 mono with the uni to uni there. Yep. Straight to your steel, your 60 gram steel. Now, most places, like I said, this is good for 60 foot and less, mainly in that 30 to 50 foot range. Is, is where we use that joker. Very Green effective. water. Oh my. Very effective. Yes, it is. And and like he, he mentioned earlier about your, your color, your color of your jig with the color of your water, everybody is going to use different things. And yeah, also your personal yeah. preference. Um, we, we really like those pink, blues, and greens. Yes. I mean, it's, yeah. It's tried and true. And I've had actually problems catching and not using that. So, mm -hmm. and we've tried that because we've got the silver minnow. Kind of looks like tarpon scales on it, but it's, it's holographic. But he has he has no other colors. Obviously, mm -hmm. he's just a silver sardine, basically. Yeah. And um, have caught some fish on that, but that's 
pretty old and it's not beat up. Yeah. The lures that we've caught stuff on, they're beat to pieces. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this one's been thrown into the bag that's of excess because we don't catch many fish on just a silver one. Yeah. And you've got your wild stuff like that. I mean, yeah, we'll try that. We'll we'll try it, and we might catch something on. But it's it not going to stack up. No, you know it's not. It, it this, won't stack up. This won't be a main contender. For not, us. Against, not against pink, blue, I mean, and green. It won't. That, be. that right there. P, B, and G, baby. That one. This one right here. Those are your. Yeah. Those are your tried and true. Yeah, exactly. They're gonna they're gonna work most of the time. Of course, you're gonna have an off day. You know where you something said, works better than the other. What? That's yeah. what's that? <laughs> like I don't. What is that? I but mean, you know what? You could tie that on, and it might work. And it might. It might not. Yep. The Jungle website allows these provisions for not much money. So, mm -hmm. and so does the Evil Bay. So we're gonna. We'll, I'll. I'll try that. But it won't be my first pick. No. I can promise. This will be when the fish ain't biting. Nothing's mm -hmm. happening. We're just trying. And stuff. we're just yeah. We're just trying because we do that. Yeah. And we might find a new jig that way. But we always end up back with. Yeah. The big PB. Pink and blue and green. PBG. Yep. What is that, by the way? I, I, I bet that's allowed. Probably. <laughs> so, now you know how we rig these up. Everybody's going to have their own opinion, but this is how we do it. This is what works for us, where we fish. Um, South Florida, Central Florida, Northeast Florida, Southeast Georgia. Yes, where we sir. fish a lot. Yeah. And I can guarantee, even going up, like, we got a lot of friends in Jersey. Mm. They catch huge sea bass there, man. Oh, and them tog. Huge and tog, yeah. yeah. I'll bet you that right there mm -hmm. would get there. on Tony Kramer. Oh, yeah. If you're watching. TK. Yeah. Yeah. Guaranteed. Yeah. He's a, yeah, a, 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 bass is a bass as far as sea bass sea goes. Sea bass, yeah. Sea bass down here, sea bass up there. It's same they're, thing. Yeah. Yep. They're going to hit it. So, we'll, uh, I guess the next video will be actually on the water. On the water. Using we'll these. update you on what, what colors do on what, on what moon mm -hmm. and what tide, etc. And we'll notate the water color, the barometer, etc. water temperature. Yep. And we'll also update you on how these. Mainly how the old Chigoyling <laughs> re reels are holding. You up. like saying it. I do like saying yeah. it. Yeah. So. Actually, actually, I don't, but <laughs> they are what they are. They are. But. We're we're gonna put them to the test. Man, that's a nice looking setup. Man, yeah, it is. Very light. It very is. Light. Let's see if we can break it. Yeah, I'd like to see it not break. Be better. Yeah. I'll handline it. If it's a grouper, I'll handline it in. I'll, but it 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 make a good blooper reel. If yeah. It, if it did break, so. it, it will make a blooper out of it if it fails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there it is. There's the setup. Looks pretty good. Look at that. We'll see how it works. Turn it so you can see that other color beautiful so all right all right guys we'll see you next time peace, peace. out